Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna make pumpkin bread, which is not even bread, it's just giant muffin. For recipe we need baking soda, baking powder, this one is going strange, yogurt, eggs, butter, nutmeg, allspice, brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon sugar, then regular sugar, all purpose flour and salt. And I would also add some vanilla extract because, well, why not? It's good stuff. So, we start with the mixing all dry ingredients. And for the recipe, I'm gonna use, okay, let me take this away. For the recipe, I would use like one and a half cup of flour. It's all clumpy. Well, make sure your flour is not clumpy. Just let's make your life easier and your food better. Kind of. Right. Done. Now one and a half spoon of baking powder, and then a little bit of baking soda. I don't like baking soda. It just make it taste strange, but that's part of the recipe, so we might have to change it, right? Right. Okay, so one, two, okay. Baking powder, done. Next, well, also let's put some salt, by the way, so it's not taking up too much space. Now what's missing? Okay, baking powder, baking soda, just a little drop, maybe a little more. Next, so that's our dry ingredients. Also let's add some allspice, depending how spicy you want it. <laughs> and ground mag. Also put some cinnamon sugar inside but it's not main purpose of cinnamon sugar in this time all right now all dry ingredients mixed together let's have a butter let's melt it All right, now let's make some wet ingredients. We're gonna use, oh my God, half can of pumpkin puree, which is equal to, big math, seven ounces. It's like 200 something grams. And you use pumpkin puree instead of pumpkin spice because you don't want too much stuff in it. It's not a healthy recipe because we put like stick of butter in it and a lot of sugar and eggs and all that stuff. So just, well, do what you're comfortable to do. A little bit more. I like pumpkin, so. All right. Now our butter is done. Yep. Butter is melted. Now in pumpkin puree, let's add some sugar. We go with a half cup of the sugar, a regular one. And well, it's way easier to do it with a 
spatula, but it's me, so I just make it a mess and using all what I can, but so it's nice and smooth. And now let's put some brown sugar. Brown sugar would help us with some nice it just have different flavor, you know. Ah, he different. Yeah, that's enough. And a little bit of vanilla extract. That's enough. Just a little drop. Mix it all together. So it's nice and smooth, no clumps. I don't know why it would be clumped, it's just sugar and pumpkin puree, but you never know. Now we can add two eggs, one, two. Break your eggs on flat surface so membrane inside of the air can keep the shelf of falling inside. Mix it all together, nice and smooth. What is that? Yeah, uh, don't forget to put your apron, especially when you start mixing the dry stuff. Oh, ta da! All right. Now when it's all mixed in, I would add some butter. I use butter just because I like it more than vegetable oil. If you like vegetable oil more than butter, well, that's your problem. Listen, no one judge you, but like just, you know, it's butter. Like butter, vegetable oil. Yeah? And now uh, yogurt. Actually, not now, later. Uh, Na na na, hop. Na 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 na. Nice sound. Oh. Why did I miss it in one, and now I would move it in another one? Listen, you're asking too many questions for someone who like on another side. If you want to do it yourself, just go for it. That's fine. But now, let me have it again. Go, go. Good talk. Bam. And now we have this oof, nice mix. Oh. 
What you're saying is better to use whisk? Yeah, must be nice to be on another side, right? Yep. Better to use whisk, best to use whisk. You don't know me, you don't know my story. Alright, so... We have that nice mix. Now, yogurt. I would not put too much, just for like a nice cool flavor and uh, you know the fluffiness and all the stuff that is called with a milk product. Even though we already have butter, extra yogurt would, I don't know, I just think it's would be cool. So, not too much because otherwise it just ruin your stuff. I will eat it later. Okay. Mix it, mix it, mix it. It's already smell like pumpkin. Now I think I made too much. It's easier to move it with a spatula. If you have wooden spatula, that's nice. If you don't have wooden spatula, go get yourself a wooden spatula. Oh, don't. Like, you don't have to use wooden spatula. It just, you know, if you know, you know. It's a safe place. You can do whatever you want. No one's gonna judge you. Some people will judge you. But that's because they know what they're doing. Alright, now we put it like I would not put more than half. Fill it up more than half because well this would rise and you don't want it out of flow. Hop. Now, that's done. Now it just go to the oven for like start with a 45 minute. If it's small one, if it's bigger, just go with a longer time. I preheat my oven for 360. And just like that, it's go inside. Alexa, 45 minute timer. 45 minutes, starting now. Alexa, second timer, 25 minutes. When you... Second timer, 45 minutes, starting now. In 25 minutes, I'll put some uh, cinnamon sugar on top, so it's make it a little bit crusty on top. Maybe like 40 minutes in. So it's not just in. in. Yep, yeah. and well, while you're waiting, just put yourself a glass of your favorite beverage. Mine is water. Now just wait for 45 minutes in oven, well, food in oven. It can be baked, but listen, again, we're doing it's nice and safe, so yeah. Get yourself a favorite drink and just go chillax for 45 minutes.
and yeah I'll show you the result in a few seconds so it's been 45 minutes let's take it out from the oven and see how it's well, what's up with that all right so yeah there you go yeah I think it's fake like it it's been long enough inside and well, I put a little bit more on that one but on that one I put a little bit of uh, cinnamon sugar and yeah and what's up with you so now I just flip them over upside down and let them cool down Don't know what I'm doing right now. It's super hot. It's just from oven and it's aluminum. So, oh, well, oh, nice, nice, if you will. Well, it's cooling down now, so. You know, I would use it again at some point. I just need to wash it. Uh, yeah, so that's how you make pumpkin bread. And just stay tuned and I'll cut them and you'll see how one of them look inside. I'll save in one and I'll cut another one. I flip it. Now let's see how it's look inside. There's some kind of knife. Nice and easy. And pot. Yeah. Tastes like pumpkin bread. I don't know if you expect something else, but we make it pumpkin bread, so it does taste like pumpkin bread. Like Nice, moist. Smells good. No more old heavy anymore. Flavor after all spices like suck in it and yeah. And for myself I personally just slice it, throw it on a pan, see it will uh, give some color, you know. Make it nice and crispy. It's a little caramelized. Yeah, it would be great. And some sour cream. Mm. Nice. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, thank you for watching. See you next time. Give me some feedback if you want. Thank you for watching. Bye.